Can I start? Yeah. Can I start now? Together. Are you recited? I'm recited. Both together? Or you're doing the surah and you're doing the meaning? Yeah. Okay. So, so that's... أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسماء والطارق وما أدراك ما الطارق النجم الثاكب إن كل نفس لما عليها هافت فلينظر الإنسان من Okay, it's fine. That should be fine. Okay. Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Respected elders, sisters, and brothers, Salam Alaikum. On behalf of the North American Shia Ithna Ashri Muslim Community Organization, commonly known as Nasimko, it is an honor and a privilege to welcome you all to tonight's program in what we hope is an enlightening and empowering evening for you all. Thank you for joining us tonight as we honor some inspirational women. Tonight, we are extremely privileged to have Sister Farheen Rizvi and Sister Zahra Alawi with us for our very first dinner in collaboration with the ISIJ's Tablik Board. I'd like to take a few minutes to share our appreciation for your overwhelming trust and support in Nasimko's work. Alhamdulillah, with your support, we were able to feed 2,500 Rohingya families for one month. And a few weeks ago, our very own treasurer, Brother Kosar Lada, went to the refugee camps in Cox's Bazar in Bangladesh to assess the situation on the ground. Over the next two weeks, Nasimko volunteers will depart to Syria to distribute food, medicine, and educational supplies near the shrine of Sayyid Zainab. This is our first initiative where we are providing aid directly to, with Nasimko volunteers. Thanks to your generous donations, our volunteers will buy aid locally, benefiting the local economy while providing immediate relief. Please keep our volunteers in your duas as they embark on this important journey, inshallah. At Nasimko, one of our goals is to serve humanity through serving you. And one of the ways we do this is by not charging any admin fees for our relief projects. At a regional level, as part of our Madrasa Center of Excellence, we hope to have 10 madrasas across North America trained as part of our Terbiya program. And if you have not participated in our highly acclaimed leadership development program, where our facilitators inspire you to unlock your full potential, I highly recommend you do not delay and participate in this program. It is our hope to make this program available to every Jamaat in North America. Sisters and brothers, on behalf of Nasimko, I am very excited to share with you tonight our new campaign, Women in Islam, which showcases and celebrates the achievements of Muslim women and their exceptional contributions to our communities and more broadly to our society. As a young Muslim woman, I can personally attest to how important a campaign like this is because we don't give enough justice or credit to women and we want all women to shine. And this campaign enables us to take ownership over our own narrative and truly highlight our accomplishments publicly and globally. Stories that show resilience, perseverance, and most importantly, how Islam empowers women to reach greater heights. What a better time to do this than a time when we are celebrating a personality like Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. We would love to hear from you about inspirational Muslim women in your lives, your mothers, your sisters, your daughters, your friends, your mentors. The list goes on, mashallah. Help us tell your stories and their stories to inspire others. I can look, just by looking at this room, I can see so many incredible women who've done things to help people. I'd highly re recommend, or I'd like to request you all to use our hashtag tonight, Women in Islam. Take pictures of people sitting right next to you and start tweeting them out. And if you don't do this, I'm going to come around and take your picture. Just kidding. So if you want to find out more about how you can get involved, more information is on our website at nasimko.org 
or you can speak to myself or any of the other Nasimco volunteers who are here tonight. And please use our hashtag, Women in Islam. I'd now like to ask Sister Shabni Siuji to join me on stage so we can take our first picture and launch our social media campaign. And I'll ask her to say a few words after that. Loud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Malana Rizvi, executive of ISIJ, executive of Nasimco, members of Tabligh, my distinguished uh, guest, Sister Farheen Rizvi, Sister Zahra Al Alawi, brothers and sisters in Islam, the volunteers of this community. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm extremely humbled today uh, on behalf of ISIJ uh, to represent ISIJ and really share my thoughts about the campaign that Nasimco has launched today. This is really timely. Um, if you think about the wave that's around us about empowering women um, and really looking at what's happening in the greater community, it's about time that women in Islam also came to the platform. Mashallah Nasimko has been doing a lot, and it's their dedication and work that we have seen over the years that has enabled women also to share in the, in the platform. Nasimko has been developing communities, empowering youth, now women, and also unifying our North American Jamaats. This campaign is really timely, and it is one that will really showcase the accomplishments of women, not only here, but across. I've always seen that we have men enjoy and are able to progress in life, and women have always been behind every successful man. Women, of course, are now behind the success of every woman out there. For us sisters, it's time, and for brothers also, to recognize that it's not women exercising power. It is women empowering not only themselves, but their families, everybody around them, towards the journey of the hereafter. When you look at the theme today, in the footsteps of Bibi Fatima alayhi salam, Allahumma salli ala. It is important when we nominate those women, make sure that they are in the shadow of the, uh, the women of, in the household of the Ahl al-Bayt, so that we, when we are sharing the light that Bibi Fatima has bestowed over us, we are actually walking in that footsteps. It's a huge responsibility, I know, but it is one that's important because then only you can be the flag bearers of the women in Islam. Women carry a huge burden out in the greater society. It's not easy being in the outside mainstream and standing up, having self-confidence, really showing that you are a powerful woman, not because you're exercising power, but you're a woman from the faith of Islam, able to do anything that a man is doing. It is really something when you see in our community, men have actually bought tickets to come and hear women speak. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa and I really urge all the brothers and sisters uh, to take it upon themselves to really think about those women that inspire you. And wouldn't it be great if a man actually talks about the great achievements of a woman? 
It is really to show that we are thinking about our sisters, aren't we? That's what Islam is all about. When you empower each other and you do not pull somebody down. You know, when I think about myself and my journey, I did it, yes, because I had two women behind me, my mother and my mother-in-law, who made it possible that I could have the time to go out there and serve my community. But yes, there are some veterans in this community, men, like Marhum Gulambai Sajan, who gave me the seat of mosaic chair when he knew he did not have much time. And I, at that time, did not think that I was the right person for this job, but I took on that responsibility because I had to make him proud, but also the women of this community, and ISIJ, and all my brothers and sisters who have me up in the front line spreading the message of Islam in a different way. In a different way, when I sit in a boardroom with men, with my hijab proudly, working with them, I don't have to be out there trying to show what Islam is all about. I can make that little difference by working in, 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 with it, integrity, with men, with women, and making sure I'm making everybody proud, especially Bibi Fatima, alayhi salam. So don't forget to send in your submissions to Nasimko and join and contribute to the discussion. Many youth are here today. I know they love social media. You saw the hashtag out there, Women in Islam. Please join the discussion. Let's, let us all respond to Nasim Ko's call and work together to empower women. You know, we are able to inspire others. This is a sh very short time in this world we have. This seat that we all hold, this place that we are all sharing, it's not forever. Let us build legacies. Let us make room for others. Let us empower each other, especially sisters and the women in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.